Jono, um, first pre-season game out of the way, 1-0 defeat. Um, I'm sure the performance, you know, and, and the result is the secondary, but in terms of getting the lads back out, I'm sure you'll be uh, pleased with how they progress this week. Yeah, it was good to get them back out. Um, we've had a, we've only had two training sessions, so the game's come very early for us, but um, it was a good workout for the boys, first and foremost. Like you say, disappointing with the result and possibly second-half performance, but, um, you know, it gives us something that we, we know straight away that we need to, to work on stuff. Yeah, and in terms of the, the first half, um, we did see some lively moments, especially in that attacking area, Junior Mondale and a few stern linking up well. Yeah, there was a few. Um, Priestley, uh, Wheatley, Gratton and Fuster Junior. I think the forward players are linked up quite well. Um, like I say, very rusty with the end product. Um, we had five or six really good chances and then two or three half chances, so it was disappointing to not score any goals. Um, like I say, second half was a bit, you know, all over the place really with Charles coming in and lads away it was a bit disjointed so um but like you say it's a good bit to work out first and foremost yeah and you mentioned about the you know the introduction of new players Charles in particular that's very much where the goal came wasn't just uh, sort of that perhaps lack of communication defense perhaps yeah definitely yeah that's what it was lack of communication um you know obviously getting used to the to the level that we're at like he's he's literally turned up today so it was difficult for him um and we've had to adapt to that so yeah it's Disappointing, but you know, I'd rather the lads make mistakes in pre season because I think last year we had a really good pre season and we had a difficult start. So hopefully, we can turn it around this year. Yeah, and in terms of you know, getting minutes into lads' legs as well, that'd be another pleasing aspect the fact that you managed to get basically everyone that was in the squad on, on the pitch at some point. Yeah, definitely like that. I know there's a few lads away on holiday. Um, like I say, we've only had two training sessions, so it was important that we. You know, I know a few lads had to do 90 minutes, but it was ideal we wanted to give people 45 to 60 maximum, really. So and I know Sonny and uh, Joe Wheatley have just come off the back of groin injuries. So it was more about managing them and it was pleasing to see that no one's come off with uh, any injuries. Yeah, and in terms of uh, moving forward into the pre-season, obviously it's going to you know, ramp up as it develops. Um, a couple of things you to work on, and you know, so as you learn from those mistakes that have happened today, and, and perhaps what system is going to suit us going to the season. Yeah, we've all been um, we've been away over the summer. We've been studying, going into clubs, getting different um, ideas of how different clubs work on different things and ideas, and you know, if teams at the top level can do certain stuff, hopefully we want to bring it down down to this level and and try to be a step ahead of, of teams. So, uh, like I say, we've had two training sessions, so we've not really had a chance to. To work on it but you know we've got weeks coming up with plenty of training sessions that we can work on ideas that we want to um, you know bring into the season and hopefully the lads and I'm sure they will take it all on board and you know come the, the first game of the season hopefully the lads will be uh, you know fighting and, and ready to go and there is it's going to be a bumpy road pre-season there's going to be mistakes but like you say get them in good habits um, you know and, and by the time the season comes hopefully it's just second nature. Yeah, and what's sort of the plan now for the next uh, week? I'll suppose that game against Fisherman the next Friday. Yeah, so we'll be, um, like I say, training on definitely on Tuesday, and obviously with the game on Friday here against Fisherman. So it'll be another good workout for us. It'll be a tough test. They'll be, um, you know, wanting to get one over us. So we've got to be ready for that. And like I say, it's another workout for the boys, and hopefully get some more minutes in the legs to the boys and, and no injuries. Yeah, and hopefully as well a couple of players back um, from the holidays. Yeah, there's a couple of back. I think there's a couple of ways as well. Um, you know, lads chopping and changing, but hopefully we can, like you say, work on a lot of things on Tuesday, um, and then and again the game on Friday. Not used as a training session, but getting good habits of different patterns of play and stuff, and you know, put the ball in the back of the net really. Not very much, John. No.